You can really go down a deep rabbit hole if you read about ice ages. The footage captured by a long distance drone beyond the ice wall of Antarctica has sent chills down the spines of many. So that we can understand the threats to them from things like climate change or other human disturbances. First, Antarctica has always been a place filled with many wonders of the Earth and discovered by scientists who look long and hard enough. Yet, people were not ready for the recent footage, which shows some strange creatures thriving in a place where humans cannot stay. The most important issue to me uh, is the issue of a global cataclysm at the end of the Ice Age. From humpbacks to anemones and many more, these creatures not only perform different stunts, but also exist in various forms and sizes. What is it about the ice wall of Antarctica that's so comfortable for these creatures? How long have they been living there? Join us as we explore what the long distance drone captured from beyond the ice wall of Antarctica. Footages from beyond the ice wall of Antarctica. Scientists, in their unending quest for knowledge, have made yet another discovery. Drone footage captured in the Antarctic Peninsula under the Antarctic ice wall shows humpback whales, with one using its four-meter-long fin to sweep a net of bubbles around its prey to trap them. This shows just how adaptable and creative these animals can be. Dr. Friedlender has even described humpbacks as much more acrobatic than other similarly-sized whales. But that's not all. Chris Johnson, a wildlife charity WWF's global whale expert, explains that the behavior called bubble net feeding involves the whale using its fin as a tool to trap krill, the tiny crustaceans that Antarctic whales eat, more than a ton of each day. But are these whales truly a wonder? And what makes the footage captured so chilling? You're about to witness something truly incredible. No other species of whale produces these solitary bubble nets other than humpback whales. This act was captured in detail from the air, and the use of drone cameras has allowed scientists to study and analyze it closely. We know whales are known for their large sizes, and humpbacks are no exception. But the footage of them turning and twisting shows how efficiently they can maneuver their huge bodies. This ability has been attributed to the size of their tails and flippers and their skill in using these attributes to pivot, as Dr. Friedlender explained. The drone provides an aerial view that has also shed light on the recovery of whale populations in parts of the world where they were hunted to the brink of extinction in the 20th century. An international team of researchers including some from the British Antarctic Survey, shared with the BBC what they say is the first drone footage of a mother calf pair of southern right whales off the coast of South Georgia. Seeing mother and calf pairs in this area is a strong indicator that these populations are slowly recovering. They also filmed an Antarctic blue whale, mother and calf, the biggest animals on Earth, feeding in the same area. Before the 1930s, an estimated 40,000 blue whales were killed by whalers in South Georgia waters. Ms. Martin said it took until 2020 for researchers to find these giant mammals in those waters again. A survey that year recorded 58 sightings of adult blue whales there. Gray whales off the Pacific Northwest coast have shrunk by about 13%, according to recent research. Scientists can measure whales' bodies using drones, and there is emerging evidence that some of these animals are actually shrinking. This has been linked to climate change, which is affecting their food supply. A study published in the journal Global Change Biology revealed that gray whales feeding in the shallow waters off the Pacific Northwest coast have shrunk significantly in the last two decades. A grey whale born in 2020 is expected to reach an adult body length 1.65 metres shorter than one born before 2000. Researchers suggest this could be an early warning that the population is starting to decline or is not healthy. Drones also capture playful interactions like those of two humpback whales with a seal. Besides helping researchers monitor emerging threats to whales, Drones shed new light on fascinating marine mammal behavior. By filming humpback whales working together to feed, something observed in Antarctica 
scientists gain insight into how these animals learn and cooperate. Dr. Friedlender noted that when studying humpbacks feeding in Alaska and off the U.S. coast, there are usually strict rules. One animal blows a bubble net around the prey, and others have individual roles. However, in Antarctica, researchers often see multiple animals in a feeding ground, all blowing bubbles at the same time. Scientists are still working to understand this behavior, but some suspect that the Antarctic whales might still be learning the feeding technique and have not yet refined it to assign specific roles. These fascinating elements raise many questions, including one about the ice wall itself and how it came to be. The ice wall was observed from the air with a drone and was first discovered by Sir James Clark Ross, a British naval officer and polar explorer who was among the first to venture to Antarctica in an attempt to determine the position of the South Magnetic Pole. When he encountered the massive vertical front of ice, he famously remarked that it was an obstruction so solid-looking that it would be impossible to penetrate. He noted that there was no sign of any rent or fissure in the entire expanse, and the bright sky beyond indicated the great distance it stretched southward. The ice wall surrounds 95% of the Antarctic coast and is a natural formation, a thick mass of floating ice attached to the land. It forms and is fed by glaciers extending from deep within the uncharted tundra into sheltered waters. In areas without strong currents, the ice partly grounds itself on the sea bottom and attaches to rocks and islands. Glacial pressure pushes the wall forward into the sea until its growth is halted. Geologist James Smith discoveries in the Antarctic ice wall. In the middle of the Filchner Ron ice shelf, a five-hour flight from the nearest Antarctic station, nothing comes easy. Despite it being the southern summer, geologist James Smith from the British Antarctic Survey endured nearly three months of freezing temperatures, sleeping in a tent, and eating dehydrated food. The science itself was challenging. To study the history of the floating shelf, he needed seafloor sediment, locked under a half mile of ice. Smith and his team had to melt 20 tons of snow to create 20,000 liters of hot water, which they pumped through a pipe lowered down a borehole. It took them 20 hours to melt through the ice inch by inch, finally reaching the shelf's base. Next, they lowered an instrument to collect the sediment, along with a GoPro camera. But the collector came back empty. They tried again, still nothing. Each round trip of the instrument took an hour. Later that night in his tent, Smith watched the footage and spotted a major issue. The video showed the camera descending through 3,000 feet of blue-green ice before opening up into dark seawater. Smith exclaimed in surprise, noting that it was just one big boulder in the middle of a relatively flat sea floor, making it a remarkable find. While it was the wrong place for collecting seafloor muck, it was the perfect spot for a one in a million chance to find life in an environment where scientists didn't expect much. Though Smith is not a biologist, his colleague Hugh Griffiths from the British Antarctic Survey is. When Griffiths reviewed the footage back in the UK, he noticed a layer on the rock, likely a bacterial mat. An alien-like sponge and other stalked animals hung from the rock, while thicker, cylindrical sponges clung to the surface. The rock was also lined with wispy filaments, possibly part of the bacterial mats, or a strange animal known as a hydroid. The rock Smith accidentally discovered was 160 miles from daylight, the nearest edge of the shelf where the ice ends and the open ocean begins. It was also hundreds of miles from the nearest potential food source, a place with enough sunlight to support an ecosystem and in the right position for known currents to deliver sustenance to these creatures. Griffiths explains that being stuck in one place where food is scarce and sporadic 
is a tough situation. So, how do they get their food? The researchers believe that the usual vertical drift of marine snow has been flipped sideways. By looking at charts of currents near the drill site, they found that there are productive regions between 390 and 930 miles away. It's possible that enough organic material is carried by these currents to feed these creatures, even though it's an extraordinary distance. For comparison, in the deepest part of the ocean, the Challenger Deep near Guam, marine snow falls seven miles from the surface to the sea floor. But to reach the animals on this Antarctic rock, food would have to travel up to 133 times that distance, and it would have to do so by floating sideways. According to Rich Mui, curator of invertebrate zoology and geology at the California Academy of Sciences, what scientists know about currents around Antarctica makes this theory not too far-fetched. He explains that as seawater cools in the region, it becomes denser, sinks to the sea bottom, and pushes water outward, radiating from Antarctica. These currents are the origin of many of the current systems on the planet. As the water pushes outward, something has to fill the void, so there's an inflow that carries organic matter, even over hundreds of kilometers. For the creatures stuck on that boulder, this could bring food. The currents might also bring new animals to the rock's population. However, because the researchers couldn't collect specimens, they can't confirm exactly what the sponges and other creatures are eating. Some sponges filter organic detritus from the water, while others are carnivorous, feeding on tiny animals. Christopher Ma, a marine biologist at the Smithsonian, suggests that if these sponges are carnivorous, it would make for an interesting headline. Griffiths and his team also couldn't determine if mobile creatures like fish and crustaceans live around the rock since the camera didn't catch any. So, it's unclear if the sessile animals face any predators. Griffiths wonders if they all rely on the same food source, or if mobile animals somehow provide food for this community. These are questions only another expedition can answer. It seems that sedimentation around the rock isn't very heavy, so the animals aren't at risk of being buried. However, Antarctic sponges are known to live for thousands of years, so it's possible that this is an ancient ecosystem. The rock could have been seeded with life long ago. The researchers also don't know if this rock is an anomaly or if such ecosystems are common beneath the ice. Perhaps these geologists didn't just get extremely lucky when they dropped their camera onto this rock. There's certainly a lot of space for such ecosystems, as these floating ice shelves stretch over 560,000 square miles. Through previous boreholes, scientists have only explored an area beneath them equal to the size of a tennis court. So, it's possible that these ecosystems are out there in greater numbers and we just haven't discovered them yet. Griffiths points out that some of these big ice shelves could collapse in the future, which could result in the loss of a unique ecosystem. Perhaps these findings are just a glimpse of the other animals discovered in this mysterious ecosystem. The anemones and discovered sea creatures. If you think that's all the wonders Antarctica has to offer, wait a little, there's more. A strange upside-down world exists beneath Antarctica's ice, where unusual sea creatures live in the dark underside of a floating glacier. An ice anemone attached to the bottom of an ice shelf makes its home in a burrow carved into the ice. Photographer Laurent Ballester captured this rare sight while diving, and this photo was part of the portfolio that won him the Wildlife Photographer of the year 2022 from the London Natural History Museum. What else could be hidden behind these icy walls? Will we ever discover them all? Stay tuned. The most interesting part is still ahead. As we know, one of the least explored places on Earth lies just off the coast of Antarctica. 
about 1.5 million square kilometers of ocean there, an area the size of Alaska, sits in constant darkness, hidden beneath 200 to 600 meters of floating ice, making it nearly impossible for humans to reach. Still, in January 2020, a team of researchers made a rare attempt to explore it. They camped on the floating Thwaites ice shelf and melted a narrow hole 600 meters through the ice. They then lowered a long, remote-controlled submarine to explore the dark waters below. What they found was surprising. In 2020, the remote-controlled submarine ice fin explored under the Thwaites ice shelf in West Antarctica. As the sub moved just beneath the ice, its lights revealed glittering, tentacled sea anemones in the dark. Schmidt was amazed by what she saw, describing it as otherworldly, like something from Alice in Wonderland. Despite the extreme environment, the animals have adapted to thrive there. With 99.99% .99 of the ocean beneath Antarctica's floating ice shelves still unexplored, many strange life forms could be hidden in these waters. Craig Smith, a seafloor ecologist from the University of Hawaii, with 20 years of Antarctic exploration, believes this is certain. These bizarre creatures show that life can thrive in unusual places and might offer clues about life elsewhere in our solar system. Much of Antarctica's ice sheet lies below sea level in a shallow basin. The thick ice rises above the water, making it look like a regular continent. However, Paul Chico, an evolutionary biologist who frequently worked in Antarctica between 2002 and 2018, noted that these may be a species that lives in the sunlit waters around Antarctica. A fish known as the striped rock cod is often seen resting on the sea floor. This fish may belong to a species that is sometimes found upside down on the underside of thin seasonal sea ice. Chico observed that when he kept these rock cod in a research aquarium, they would occasionally sit on the walls, sticking to the glass as if their flat belly was a suction cup. This unique ability might explain how they cling to the undersides of ice shelves. The biggest question about these animals is what they eat. As marine biologist Stacy Kim points out, Kim, who spent many years working in Antarctica before retiring from Moss Landing Marine Laboratories, notes that the waters under ice shelves, once thought to be biological deserts, are showing signs of life. Schmidt, piloting ice fin under Thwaites ice shelf in 2020, noticed tiny specks drifting by, likely bits of plankton, poop, and other materials brought in by ocean currents from the sunlit ocean up to 15 kilometers away. This suggests there's enough food to keep these creatures fed. However, these creatures might also have another stranger food source from deep within the Antarctic continent. What do you think about these creatures existing in this totally freezing space? When then is this place unsuitable for humans? Drop your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to check out the next video on your screen. You will enjoy it.